All right, so heading upstairs now, you have, I think it's the same carpet that's in the bedroom going up the stairs. All right, nice. So you lead up to this additional loft area, similar to the Derby Hill home. Lots of natural light. You're not really looking into your neighbor. You're just looking onto their roof, which is nice as far as privacy goes. You have your HVAC over here. I'm not seeing a year on it, but it looks like a fairly new unit. Nothing funky there first glance um but i do just want to point out so this property is nice in that it doesn't back up to any other homes which that is honestly something that clients come to me looking for a lot of the time they don't want any neighbors looking into their backyard um it's just kind of an added privacy perk but as you can see there is the highway right there um to the left you have I think in one of my driving videos, you could see the high school that we drove by. Um, but you can see there is, I think it looks like the football stadium and then a track, a baseball field over there. So that's definitely not a bad thing, but just know that that's what's over there to the right with all those um, tall lights. Um, and then this, I forget what this place is called. It's an, a little amusement park. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see, there's like slides and water slides and things over there. Um, so yeah, a lot going on around you. The Walmart is right, I don't know if you can see my finger, but right in that direction. Um, and I am not sure if who owns that land, if it's like the school or if it's something that can't be built on. Um, so we'll see how loud it is when we go outside into the backyard and see if that would be something to consider. So all the bedrooms, whoops, I'm still zoomed a little bit, sorry. Um, bedrooms to the right, full bath here. We're gonna go into this room here. So this is gonna be your primary. So I'll give you a look from over here again, looking out that way, some nice, Little bit, bit, little bit of a vaulted ceiling, but they're gonna be high, so it does feel nice and airy in here. It's not the biggest primary we've seen, but it's plenty of room. You could definitely fit a king bed, dresser, nightstands. Same carpet. You have your double doors leading into the primary. And then that same tile is continued here, that's downstairs. Double vanity, which is nice. Um, again, you know, some of the older cabinets there. And then I would say cabinets is like, besides flooring, if you don't, if you can get, get on board with the tile flooring, um, I would say cabinets is like the worst thing that I've seen in this house, which is an easy fix. Um, but same kind of older fixtures there. You have your large tub. I'm just gonna test these real quick. You're gonna have your water closet here, walk-in closet and shower. Feels like something is just not connected in that toilet, like the, the flusher isn't connected to that pump, so that would probably be an easy fix, but otherwise it seems like all the, the water and plumbing has worked so far. Um, so not a huge walk-in closet, but definitely walk-in. Uh, 
have a shower here. So again, you know, updating the fixtures on these showers could go a long way. Um, but it's nothing that's not working. Um, this looks like it just needs to be pulled. Huh, I just fixed it. Cool. So pretty standard in here. Let me turn these lights off real quick. All right, so that was the primary. I'll take you over here to, it's gonna be this full bath, and then I believe the three additional secondary rooms. Nice, so this one does have double sink in this shared restroom, which is nice just because it's three bedrooms that would be sharing it up here. So same deal with the finishes, flooring, all that good stuff. So all very similar. It's not the best, but the shower is working. That one flushes. Oh, it's a little sticky, but um, as you can see here, it's like kind of just some age. I don't know if that would necessarily come up. It looks like this is almost like kind of cracking. You might be able to finish it in a way or like sand it down or get like some sort of grinder that could help it, but just something to note. Okay, cool, yeah. So the laundry is gonna be up here to your left. You're gonna have these three bedrooms. I'll go ahead and show you this one at the back, the back right corner, I think. Oh no. Oh yeah, we're at the, sorry, I'm turned around. So yeah, this one's gonna be looking to the front. Again, pretty standard size. Double door closet here. I have a feeling all of these secondary bedrooms are going to be pretty similar. Um, and then as far as cracking, anything like that, I'm not seeing any anything in here. Go to the second one. Very similar. do have a cracked outlet there. That's an easy fix. Just get a new cover for that one. Oop. Swung that open. So similar size closet. So all of these closets are pretty sizable compared to some of the smaller secondary room closets that we've seen. Some of them have been pretty tiny. And I'm not seeing any cracking in this room either. Everything feels like pretty fresh paint in here. And we'll go into the laundry here. Have a little bit of storage. Could definitely use some cleaning on this drain pan, but other than that, um, I will say these units definitely look a little bit older. Not to say they don't work, but as you can see, they could use a really good cleaning. So, something to think about there. Um, the Derby Hill home definitely had some newer appliances, even in the kitchen, than this home has. But other than that... This home feels like it's in, in good shape. All right. So that is the upstairs, and then I'll go ahead downstairs and show you guys the backyard. <laughs> 